If content is king, uh, what is in the pipeline in terms of new releases uh, for the second half of the year? And is the regulatory environment in China going to continue to be a problem? Yeah, um, so for their games, they have uh, four domestic new games, and uh, they also have some new games to be released in overseas markets. And for regulation, uh, well, uh, for example, on gaming, well, uh, the China just resumed the, the, their approval on gaming on new games. So although the number is less than expected, but I think the environment uh, is actually improving. And also on live streaming, uh, the worst regulation was out in June and uh, regarding the PK features and uh, taping ranking. Uh, also, there should be still some, you know, regulation ahead, but I think the worst should be behind us. Ad sales revenue, Brian, is that going to continue to take a hit? Uh, yes, I think, um, well, there could be some risk because if China macro continue to worse, then I think there could be some downside risk to the ice growth because ice uh, industry, ice budget is very sensitive to uh, economic growth. And how does Billy Billy, or rather, what's the strategy to grow engagement and dr grow the user base, uh, especially amongst uh, higher quality, higher value add uh, customers? Yeah, uh, actually, Billy has done pretty good job in this area. Uh, they continue to build up their ecosystem uh, to uh, attract more uh, content creators who can uh, who can produce very high quality uh, contents. So through this way, through their very healthy ecosystem and more content creators, they uh, should still be able to gain um, you know users. I think you. Uh, I think as you probably know that their uh, user target is to achieve 400 million MAU in 2024.